Up next, uh, Professor uh, Mahandra, uh, I think you're going to be <coughs> speaking about how, how are we going to improve sustainable diets with a focus in India. Yeah. So my remarks on um, uh, mostly on India and the sustainable agriculture and uh, uh, diets. Uh, the first one is, uh, you know, India has progressed well and uh, the re reduction in malnutrition, poverty and all, but still 40% of the uh, children uh, suffer from stunting. So it's a huge challenge for India as well as the global level if you want to uh, achieve SDGs, India progress is important. Uh, the first one is, in India we have uh, two types of agricultures. One is a uh, rice wheat based system and then non rice wheat based systems. So all the support is given to the rice wheat based, all the subsidies and water, everything. So that has to be changed. Now more millets, pulses, fruits, vegetables, and uh, animal source foods are important. The second one is, uh, you know, uh, animal source foods and the vegetarian food, because significant proportion of the Indian population is uh, vegetarians. How do you diversify? They suffer from a lot of micronutrients. So you have to shift from, uh, you know, again to millets, pulses, and other fruits, vegetables, and other things for vegetarians. But others, we have to increase the animal source foods uh, because, uh, you know, recent IPCC says that uh, we have to reduce the meat consumption, but it is applicable to more to advanced countries because their consumption is very high. Uh, whereas in uh, India, South Asia, and all, still per capita animal uh, meat consumption is low. So we have to improve uh, animal source foods in these countries uh, for uh, higher uh, you know, nutrition. The third one is, of course, the obesity is increasing in India also, urban areas and all. Uh, even if you go to rural areas, in uh, remote areas, uh, you can see, uh, on, you know, shops uh, near uh, roads, the potato chips and other junk food is available, even in remote villages, as compared to some of the, you know, fruits, vegetables, those kind of things. Yesterday, you know, Chile Senator were talking about you know, some regulations and all. So that may be involving private sector is important. Uh, the fourth one is on um, you know, sustainable and, and climate change. Uh, for example, uh, you know, the rice and sugarcane in India uh, consume more than 60% of water. Uh, so how do you shift the cropping patterns? You know, for example, you, you grow pulses. Uh, it is a win-win situation for the protein food as well as for climate resilient agriculture. Uh, uh, similarly, if you have uh, less chemical based, less pesticide based like conservative agriculture or we are also having a zero based uh, uh, natural farming where uh, in fact two million hectares in one province alone they are increasing. Uh, lastly, on uh, the institutions are important because uh, throughout the food systems you need institutions. For example, we have women's self-help groups in India. They can be sensitized for, about the healthy food diets and also farmers' organizations and other uh, things. Lastly, uh, you know, people are talking about the cost is also important to tell the finance ministry and others. But I feel returns also we have to tell them. Suppose you, you tell the finance minister that if you invest in uh, nutrition and uh, you know, uh, reducing obesity, a one dollar investment uh, leads to thirty dollar uh, you know returns. So not only costs but returns are also important. Thank you very much.